I have a lot of people uh, comment and ask me questions about hopper bottom part. Everybody loves a good hopper bottom video. So how about a two for Tuesday?
Childers, Texas. Knows what I'm doing right now. We're a little fat. And it is uh, DOT Safety Blitz Week, I guess, as I was told. Started today, tomorrow, and Wednesday for about the brake checks or whatever. So. Brakes, we're good on. Wait, maybe not so much. Got her kicked off. First load kicked off. It is what time it is. Noon. 12 o'clock. About 230 miles down here from Borger, Texas. Down here to Monday. Monday on a Tuesday. How you say that? How you say that when the town's called Monday? Except M-U-N-D-A-Y. Monday, Texas. I guess you say Tuesday and Monday, or in Monday on a Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, we are headed to uh, Littlefield, Texas from here. It's about 175 miles away. So two and a half hours, give or take a little bit. Be headed uh, across 114 to uh, go right through Lubbock and then right on out to Littlefield. To to load her up, so easy pleasy. Well, get her. Got to put her in the high side, yo. But yeah, we're gonna go get that done, uh, get her loaded up, get another one back over here this evening, and then we'll probably uh, sneak back over to around Lubbock somewhere and lay down tonight because we've still got three more after this one that we're going after now to uh, get back over here. So, four. Four in total. These are ammonia sulfate loads we're picking up now. The one we just dropped in was a urea load. So uh, they're pretty good, pretty full on urea, but they still lack a little bit on ammonia sulfate. So that's what we're going to go after right now. And we'll catch y'all down the road. Got a big one trying to get up the hill. Man, that's what you call a super load. Two trucks pulling. Box boat. Thank you, 
run across out here in that country. Bacon, Texas, y'all. That's a badass barbecue here in this little town. Looks like it's gonna rain, don't it? We're not calling for it today in our area here, but it sure enough looks like it. here in Monday about 6 30 after hours what we're gonna do here uh, nobody's here so I like to document when I unload anyway even if I'm not making a video on it just to show that I kind of did the whole process right so what we need to do is open this door up to let the barn get out as we're unloading into it we're gonna be going into this bay right here now we did unload into this third bay right here that the door's down on earlier urea so we need to go upstairs and make sure everything's switched so we can unload into this bay right here so we got to go up these stairs right here and check her out all right when you get up here we gotta open these doors up on these bins. So there's a safety latch. You got a latch there and a latch right there. And there's a crowbar up here that we use. So I'll go ahead and while we're down here with the crowbar, I'll go ahead and close these up. If you look, those bins right there are open. 
Got one there and one there on the chute. those all closed up we'll walk the line here and make sure none of these are open everything looks good it's hot in here boy hot 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 some like it hot that's what they say these are closed up closed up Right here is the ones we need to open. There we go, we're in good shape. Panels are open. We can unload into here. Go here to our panel box. Pull out the stop button. inside and verify everything's going where it's supposed to be Let her tarp down that way the load can breathe and not create a vacuum and suck her tarp down. That can't happen.
always good to clean your work area good and leave it the way you found it. When you're done, take care of your customer. Because your customer takes care of you, right? So we're going here. Make sure everything looks good. Do one final check. Close this, uh, this uh, sliding door here. Looks good in there. That's where we just unloaded. Everything looks good there. There. This is their mixing bin. This is where they blend different types of fertilizers together to do custom blends for farmers. Yep, everything looks good. So, we'll go close this door up, run back upstairs, close that door, walking into the, uh, to the room where the conveyor belt leg or whatever you want to call it runs. Back over there is their liquid section. We unload a lot of liquid here too. door close run back upstairs there and close that door oh hey they got it tied open they might it was open when we got here so uh -oh. they might want to keep it open for a reason a few thunderheads off in the distance how well that new camera here portrays it but go check out this test plot of this cotton here Some pretty clap cotton getting some bowls on it already that big old bowl right there some pretty cotton they, they do a little test plot right here as you see there's a well right here they keep it keep a lot of good water on it pretty cotton all right i gotta go up there put my paperwork in the mailbox and we're gonna ease down the road the rest area down the road here that's where we're gonna close out the video today after the rest area i'm gonna try to make it on up to lubbock that's where i'm gonna lay down for now i gotta do the same thing again tomorrow other than a burger load, I got two little field loads. So.
rest area I was telling y'all about. Uh, man, this is probably one of the nicest little rest areas you'll find around, especially out here on this, uh, you know, you kind of think of where I'm at out here as being like a desolate, real, real quiet place. Watch this guy, he's about to mess up. Old flatbedder coming in here, did a U-turn. He might make it. Ah, hell, he made it. I thought he was gonna drag that trailer through that bar ditch right there, but he made her in. Good deal. So yeah, we made it. We made it in here, no problem. Uh, let's get this camera back a little bit. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, this is one of the nicer rest areas you'll see along. This is Highway 114. is is really the main one of the main roads between Dallas and Lubbock. A lot of the kids that go to school at Texas Tech, man, on Fridays and Sundays, you'll you'll see all kinds of kids running up and down through here, going back and forth to school. So especially during the school season, so you got to watch out for them. You got to really be mindful of what's going on on Fridays and Sundays, and then. Uh, but still pretty busy highway any other time. This rest area is just to the, uh, just to the east of Benjamin. And uh, Benjamin's a little bitty town, just right, right to the west of me here where we're at. And Seymour is about 20 miles back the other way. So, uh, and this, this highway actually pops out at Wichita Falls. Let me think right, yeah, yeah, Wichita Falls. And then you catch 287 on up to the Metroplex. But um, there is another nice rest area on this road too, and it's about probably 60 miles away between Crosbyton and uh, Dickens. And it's called the Silver, I wanna say it's no, White, White River Rest Area, I think is what it's called, but it's pretty cool too. It sets down in the canyon, and I know y'all can't see it right here, but uh, in the drone footage, I know y'all seen it, these canyons behind us here, they're beautiful beautiful little canyons back behind here the scene the scenery's just nice this whole this whole little route there's no service out here on the phone hardly for Verizon anyway but man it's just pretty wide open country back out here so um I appreciate all y'all riding along with us today I know it's, it's a little different type of hopper bottom video than what I normally do but uh I'm glad y'all came along these hopper bottom videos seem to do good uh I will uh, like to give a shout out. I, d I have a lot of people uh, comment and ask me questions about hopper bottom work. And to be honest with you, I, we don't do enough hopper bottom, actual hopper type work for me to know a whole lot about it. And I never have. I mean, I, I, I've pulled a hopper a lot, but it's all just been for our fertilizer for our uh, direct cus customers. So as far as going out and running like hopper over the road, like an Oakley type deal or you know just running this and running that i've never done that so i don't know a whole lot about it i mean i know but i will point you in a good direction if you want to know uh know anything about the hopper game and he has just got back on his youtube channel here in the last couple of weeks and uh his name is rob holly but the name of the channel is oakley hopper oakley hopper driver but he is a really really good channel to watch he worked he's got his truck leased on to uh oakley out of uh i think they're out of little rock and uh but really informative really cool channel really cool guy um i know he's uh he's open to people emailing him and asking him questions and whatever and uh i'll drop a link to his channel if i remember when i'm editing this uh down in the description and uh and also i'll put it right the name of the channel i'll put it right here so check him out go check him out let him know the 806 driver sent you if you do uh be sure to hit that like, subscribe button if you might, and uh, hell, appreciate y'all rocking with us, and uh, I guess we'll catch y'all on the next one. Big cotton season coming up, y'all. Pretty excited about it. Uh, we did get us, uh, we got our loader lined up, we got our forklift lined up, we got our four drive-ins lined up, and uh, shoot, we're gonna be we're gonna be ready to rock and roll, so. For 806 driver, Ronnie's Transport, keep the shiny side up and the hammer down, and we'll catch y'all on the next. We're out.